in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ hearty welcome to this thunder of god episode the holy spirit the giver of life wants to help each one of us in our spiritual life he wants to speak to us that's why the lord has given us this thunder of god ministries today let us call upon the name jesus because there is healing in his name there is deliverance in his name there is anointing in his name because the name jesus is the name above all other names hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus sisters jesus. and brothers now let us praise and worship the lord jesus christ together hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus oh thank you jesus yes jesus beautiful savior yes jesus glorious lord you are emmanuel Let us sing together Jesus 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 name above all names beautiful savior beautiful savior glorious lord you are Emmanuel you are Emmanuel oh god is god. with us again call upon the name jesus 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 Gospel of John chapter 14 verse 12 Jesus said Anyone who believes in me will do the works that I have done and he will do even greater than this because I go to my father Hallelujah Hallelujah My dear sisters and brothers today I would like to speak about the importance to pray for more miracles some catholics have an idea that miracles and wonders that's old thing maybe an apostolic age they did it so many of them do not pray for miracles and wonders my dear sisters and brothers today i would like to read a letter from a woman who got a miraculous healing My name is Shaiji Sharon I am from Surrey in the UK I had been diagnosed stage 3 cancer doctors advised chemotherapy and stem cell transplant Before going for these treatments I had an opportunity to attend the Thunder of God Bible convention led by Father Saver Khan Watai and he prayed for my healing on the next day i had a surgical biopsy the result amazed the doctors as they could not find any traces of cancer they also found that all the affected lymph glands had miraculously shrunk i have now been certified as free of cancer 
and that no further treatments are needed praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah let's clap our hands and give glory to jesus glory to jesus praise the lord my dear sisters and brothers in the acts of the apostles the first written prayer is in chapter 4 the background of that powerful prayer is persecution the church was persecuted and they had great pain so the bible says they gathered together and they prayed mainly they prayed for boldness to preach the gospel and they prayed to heavenly father to stretch out his right hand to perform healing miracles and wonders in jesus name they prayed for that they all knew jesus was among them they all knew that it was his duty to work alongside with them with signs and wonders but my dear sisters and brothers they gathered together and they prayed for them they prayed for more miracles healings and wonders so the acts of the apostles really teach each one of us to pray for more miracles and wonders praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus please listen to the word of god please listen if you have got a bible please open acts of the apostles chapter 4 and now lord look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant jesus the next verse verse 31 when they had prayed the place in which they were gathered together was shaken and they were all filled with the holy spirit and spoke the word of god with boldness so it was such a powerful prayer which could shake the earth so we have to pray earnestly for this in the old testament the book of sirach chapter 36 verse 6 so the bible the writer of this book is praying god perform new miracles and wonders please listen give new signs and work other wonders you see the uh, many uh, people who have got faith they used to pray for more miracles healings and wonders they are necessary to build up the church so i remember when i went to the uk to do my ministries i started a service there and maybe 60 people have uh, come to attend that ministry and after a few months the lord began to do healings a 10 year old girl came to hear the word of god she had a serious ear infection she was not able to wear earrings so when she came to attend the retreat the lord holy spirit gave me a message and i announced that during the time of the exposition of the blessed sacrament that the lord jesus christ is healing a girl who has got ear problem suddenly this girl asked her mom mom is it me that father is speaking about and her mom said yes believe in jesus believe in miracles then she uh, touched her ears and she could feel that the pain has disappeared the she had some uh, pus and all those things disappeared the very next day itself she could wear her earrings and she said to her friends please come and hear the word of god jesus is working miracles and she brought some of her friends that's why the ministry grew sisters and brothers the book of mark gospel of mark 
chapter 16 verse 20 this is one of my favorite bible verse mark 16 20 the last verse in the book of mark and they went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere while the lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that accompanied it yes so signs are very very important the lord is really present in the life of the ministers the people come to understand the presence of god through the signs that's why when jesus sent his 12 apostles and the 72 people for preaching ministry he said to them the gospel of matthew chapter 10 verse 7 and 8 jesus called them to himself and Jesus they gave them some commandments. Please listen. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, and cast out demons. You receive without payment. Give without payment. See, Jesus is giving them a command. Cure the sick. Heal the lepers raise the dead so it's our duty to do that praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus praise you jesus praise, praise you jesus. jesus a few months ago pope francis gave a homily and during his homily he spoke about miracles and healings and he mentioned an instant happened in Argentina. So there was a man whose daughter was very poorly. She was very sick. And this ma man spent a whole night in prayer for healing. And Pope Francis says he was in the Marian shrine of Lugen. The whole night he spent in prayer. And the next day, his daughter got a healing. And Pope Francis says, please listen, I am reading it for you. It is proof that prayer makes miracles happen. Prayer makes miracles happen. And Pope Francis again added, we need fervent prayers. Miracles do happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's why the Acts of the Apostles, they prayed for healing. They prayed for signs. They prayed for wonders. My dear sister and brother, have you ever prayed for that? In your parish, have you suggested your parish priest and the committee to gather together to pray for more miracles and wonders? We fail to do that. So today the Lord Holy Spirit is inspiring you to spend time in an earnest prayer for more miracles and wonders. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will do one more uh, miraculous healing so that your faith may increase. Our daughter Anli, she was 12 years old had a long-term condition called blue ear since her childhood. Though the right ear has been cured through treatments, the situation with the left ear became worse and worse day by day and developed a perforation or a hole which affects hearing and chances of having infection in ear and brain. So the doctors strongly advised an operation as soon as possi possible. We all in the family cried out to the Lord for a healing touch. During a program called Holy Spirit Evening in Birmingham in July 2015, Father Saver Gun laid his hands on her ears and prayed for healing. Lord Jesus touched our daughter Anne at once and cured her completely. On the next week, Doctors examined her thoroughly and found that there is no hole at all in the left ear and amazingly a new skin has developed. 
audiometry proved her hearing level is normal now thank you jesus for this instant miracle and thereby uplifting our faith praise the lord praise the lord i met this girl and she was full of joy happiness he says she says jesus is alive and she got an increase of faith in in her personal life and many people who heard uh, her testimony also received faith so when the lord jesus christ is performing a healing or a miracle naturally our faith will increase praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah in the acts of the apostles chapter 19 verse 11 and 12 god did <coughs> extraordinary miracles through paul so that when the handkerchiefs or aprons that had touched his skin were brought to the sick their diseases left them and the evil spirits came out of them praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus so some sickness happening because of evil spirit that's why in the gospel of matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and 17 so jesus was a great miracle worker and he used in different types of methods to perform miracles so in gospel of matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and 17 so jesus was doing uh, a miracle through casting out demons please listen to that that evening they brought to him many who were possessed with demons and he cast out the spirits with a word and cured all who were sick this was to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet isaiah he took our infirmities and bore our diseases praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord so jesus cast out the devil through the word of god and many people got healing a few uh, two years ago a lady came to one of our services and she gave her testimony for 9 years she had she was barren no children and her sister for 14 years she also had no children so they attended a charismatic renewal program by father dominic valamanal father dominic is a preacher from kerala india and father dominic did a deliverance prayer for this family and the very next month she conceived for 14 years she had no children and the next year this lady who had no children for 9 years she also conceived and both of them gave uh, birth to children and she was uh, she came to our service and she was giving the testimony that the lord intervened in their lives so today even today the lord is intervening the lives of many many people through miracles and wonders there is no doubt but the bible is asking each one of us to pray for healing miracles and wonders in our ministries in our churches in our local parishes we need them my dear sisters and brothers praise the lord praise the lord that's why saint john 23rd made this famous prayer he prayed lord holy spirit renew your wonders in this our day as in the day of pentecost he prayed that from his heart and it happened in the catholic church especially through the charismatic renewal lords and lords of miracles lords of mira healing service happened still is going on praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus when saint peter gave his first sermon immediately after receiving the holy spirit he describes our lord jesus christ as a miracle worker so it's acts of the apostles chapter 2 verse 22 please listen you that are israelites listen to what i have to say Jesus of Nazareth a man attested to you by God with deeds of power wonders and signs that God did through him among you as you yourselves know you see saint peter is 
giving an explanation about Jesus, who is a miracle worker, who has performed lots of healings and signs. And again in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verse 3. So they remained for a long time, speaking boldly for the Lord, who testified to the word of his grace by granting signs and wonders to be done through them. You see, signs and wonders. So my dear sisters and brothers, earnestly desire for these gifts. When St. Paul, in his first letter, chapter 12, when he describes about the different gifts of the Holy Spirit, he says that the gifts of healing, there are different types of healing, not only physical, but emotional. Many people receive those healing through laying on of hands, through healing prayers. So, my dear sisters and brothers, let us remember the words of St. Paul, earnestly desire for spiritual gifts. Earnestly desire for spiritual gifts. Now let us close our eyes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, increase our faith in miracles and wonders. Lord, we pray for the church that the pastors in the church may have more powers, especially healing powers. Lord, increase our faith and expand our capacity. Lord, we pray for our local parishes. That when the people come for the Sunday Mass, when the people come to hear the word of God, let them experience your healing touch, physical, emotional and mental healings. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 and brothers now I would like to say a healing prayer for you for a physical healing if you are watching this episode and if you have got any physical ailment please place your right hand on the part where you are really suffering I'm going to pray for you in Jesus name Lord Jesus in your mighty name I pray for your children Lord I ask you to stretch out your right hand upon them and heal them Lord or touch them Jesus there is any any demonic influence in their lives, let them be gone in Jesus' name. Jesus. Every, every type of snares of the devil be gone in Jesus' name. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus. heal your people. Jesus. Heal them, Lord Jesus. Jesus', Jesus name. Jesus. 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 Send your power. Mother Mary, help us. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace. grace. The Lord, the Lord is, is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, women. And, and blessed, blessed is, is the fruit of thy womb, womb Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Proclaim you are
after me this prayer lord jesus lord jesus we love you we, we love, love you we praise you we praise you we glorify you we glorify you you are our lord you, you are, are our lord. lord you are the master you, you are, are the master we are your children we, we are, are your children lord jesus lord, lord jesus we surrender we surrender our sickness our sickness to you to you lord jesus lord jesus you are the healer you are the healer lord we believe lord we believe you can heal us you can heal us lord jesus lord jesus stretch out your right hand stretch out your right hand and heal us and heal us oh lord jesus oh lord jesus if there is if there is anything anything that is hindering us that is hindering us from from receiving receiving healing healing let all the blocks Let all, all the blocks be gone. Be gone in Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus to break every chain 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 we are preparing ourselves to receive the blessing from our lord jesus christ lord jesus i pray for the sick lord i pray for the downtrodden lord i pray for all those who are really suffering lord we offer all our pain to you jesus we believe that you are the healer my dear sisters and brothers during this time of blessing receive the touch of jesus just to open your hands before you and receive his touch just say the name jesus 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 